All right, I have a few linear functions here. And what I want to do is I want to write the equation which describes each of these lines using the formula y equals mx plus c. First, though, I'm just going to label these axes. Um, so the horizontal axis I'll label as x and the vertical axis I'll label as y. That just means that our input variable is x and our output variable is y. Starting with the first function, then, we need to find the slope and y-intercept to fully describe this line. The y-intercept is easy to read off the graph because it's just the location where the line crosses the y-axis. And you can see here that it's crossing where y is 3. So we'll have y is equal to mx plus 3. Now we just need to find the slope. To do that, I'm going to pick two points along the line and draw a right angled triangle which connects the two points. For convenience, you should pick a point that's easy to read the coordinates of. So I'll pick this point up here because I can see that the coordinates are 5, 13. Then I draw a right angle triangle like this connecting the two points. The opposite side here is called the rise. And the rise is just the difference between the y values or the length of this opposite side. So the rise here is going to be 13 minus 3 because that's the point 0, 3 here. And 13 minus 3 is 10. The adjacent side of the triangle is called the run. And it's the difference between the x values. And that is 5 minus 0, which is 5. Our slope then is just rise over run. So it's 10 over 5, which is 2. Then we can fill in the rest of this equation. Y is equal to 2x plus 3. And that's the equation which fully describes that line. Moving on to the second one then, we see that the slope should be steeper in this one. It's got a greater gradient. And its y-intercept is 0 because the line passes through the origin, 0, 0. So we're going to have y is equal to mx plus 0. Let's find the slope using the same method. I'm going to use my origin as one of my points and perhaps this point up here, 210. Okay, so I'll draw my right angle triangle connecting the points. My rise is going to be 10 minus 0. That's the difference between the y values. So that's just 10. And the run is going to be the difference between the x values, which is 2 here. I'm going from 0 to 2. My slope then is 10 over 2, which is 5. So yeah, that's steeper than 2 anyway. So y is 5x plus 0, or just y equals 5x. Whenever you have a 0 or no constant at the end, that means that your line is going to pass through the origin. Okay, moving on to the third line here. This one is decreasing. If you read from left to right, you see that the y values are lowering in value. So that means you've got a decreasing function. That means that our slope is going to be a negative number. Let's read the y or the y intercept first, as usual. Here it's minus 5. So we're going to have y is equal to mx minus 5. And now let's find the slope. I'm going to choose the x-intercept as my other point for convenience. And I'll draw my right angle triangle joining the points. OK. So we can see here, when I run along from left to right, my run is 5. I'm going up 5 along the x-axis. And where do I end up? I end up 5 units downwards. 
along the y-axis. So my rise is minus 5. And that's where the minus comes into the formula. So our slope is 5, or minus 5, sorry, over 5, which is minus 1. y is equal to minus x minus 5. And you will always have a negative slope whenever you have a decreasing function like that. The last one then, here we have a horizontal line. And that means that we're going to have a slope of zero. It makes sense because if you've got a horizontal line, it's flat, it doesn't really have any steepness, so you wouldn't really describe it as having a gradient. So the slope there is going to be zero. And the y-intercept is four. That means that the equation of this line is just y is equal to 0x plus 4, or just y equals 4. Whenever you have y equals to a constant like that, it means you have a horizontal line.